What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. And to pick off where we left off, uh, I thought the Bavarian army would be much stronger than this. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be, despite the number of units involved, it's going to be fairly quick. So, yeah. Let's destroy <laughs> the Bavarian garrison. Their army is very, very, very depleted. So... Um, don't expect them to be, don't expect this to be a particularly complex battle. <laughs> it's probably going to be marching up, firing a few volleys, clearing them out, marching up, firing a few volleys, rinse and repeat. But still, this will be a battle that frees up many, many, many armies for our uh, operations in the rest of Europe. So build a gun line because I assume I'm not going to. I'm going to be a bit too mobile for my artillery. Let's build one brigade on the right. One brigade on the left. Split the cavalry up somewhat equally. So then push up in the face of the enemy. Because by God, they do not really have many men. To be honest, gunners fire shrapnel shot. Fortunately, I think we've got sound bugs playing up. The shrapnel shot was coming in. Yeah, we do have sound bugs. Sadly, the light horse are going to get cut to ribbons. The dragoons have got their carbines out. If they expect that to save them, they are sorely mistaken. All of their cavalry is skirmish cavalry by the looks of it. Finally. Go on Albanian amateur. Albanian Arnav Arnavi. The Albanian warband. Kuala Lumpur. La 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 la. France! Okay, let's commit my cavalry because. Okay, be a bit careful because they do have. You have defences. Although it looks like they put. Uh... The moment you're there going, why are you putting down defences? All you're doing is slowing down my annihilation of your troops. Look at these guys. The 8th Regiment with 13 guys. Staring down. 45th Foot Guards. So if you're these guys, you're there going, ready men? We can take them out. Well, this is more of a... Suicide mission. Yeah. One guy left, the guy with the drum. Ah. Drums down. So the enemy reinforcements coming in from way over the back.
but let's get my infantry up over there. Artillery is not really necessary. We're going to want to push through the town. Get everyone roughly in the town for now. Got their own cuirassier over here. Hmm, could be quite an even fight, really. Draw them away to the flat ground, so they try so try not to give them um, a momentum advantage by charging downhill. Ooh, more cuirassier actually. This is gonna have to happen. Lots of generals' bodyguard units. Okay, what I wanted actually, what I should do is drop these guys into square. Run my cuirassier out of the fight. Fire it well off. Draw them through my square formations. Up over here, yeah. Generals. Generals being knocked out. Artillery aim at the second Bavarian guards. These men have been shattered. So push the infantry up. Where's my cavalry and my general? Push them back up. Quite sure. I mean, they, they, I know their, their armies were weak, but they've got more men than this, right? You guys get out of square. Let's bring you guys up rapidly. The cavalry over there is routing. Okay, have they got some hidden units, some hidden skirmisher somewhere? Or is it that weird artillery unit that's in, not in? So what I'm going to have to do is, because these guys look like they're stuck 
entering the battlefield is bring up my cavalry, my artillery, and blow them up. Um, because nothing else is going to do the job. So if it's like, I need to do this, and, order, and in order to do that, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go, that done the trick. Just bring up your artillery, attack ground nearby, and sooner or later you will hit the artillery teams and they will be destroyed. So there we go. <laughs> yep, the armies are going to fall back and run away. Um, but that will not matter because... Poof. Territory is ours and they hate us for it. Which you can understand. So you men replenish, but you do have, there it is, university. So let's get rid of that. Let's upgrade your industry. Your roads are good. Everyone else, march down to Italy. And be ready to be shipped to... Maybe to raid off of the on the off of the uh, Turkish coast. That would be a good idea, I think. And sooner or later, I am going to have to push these Russians out of their out of their little uh, defensive positions. So this force Komi is being recruited to go knock out Ufa. Over here at Riga, yeah, you're replenishing. Well, my big idea is to take... Actually, no, you're going to knock them out. When these guys are knocked out, this force is going to move up and start to hit this Russian position from the south. You're in position, ready to mop up some of the leftovers. Okay, let's hit end turn. But yes, the end of the Russian Empire is nigh. And we must remember that we have to turn our focus onto the Ottoman Empire. Just a second, everyone, the doorbell's just rung. And we're back. <laughs> and it looks like while I was away. Uh, the Russians have attacked Iasi, which is great because it means it will draw in two more, two Russian armies into destruction before a set of fortifications. So let's do it. And that means there's only three armies up here now to worry about, so we can destroy them in good order and then keep my uh, existing armies pushing forward. They're ready to drive south down into Turkey. Let's destroy. Let's destroy these Russians before the before our walls. So they do have a way in. Two ways in. And they do have artillery, so that two ways in could easily become more many ways in. There we go. my howitzers like so. Cavalry hunker down towards the back. Infantry place down cavalry defences in front of both breaches and probably place them down in front of where they're probably going to end up attacking. go so let's put some I mean that wall sec that section of the wall is going to be destroyed probably in short order and then let's put actually I might put a infantry unit 
up there, put my fusiliers down here with cavalry defences. Got a unit of militia. Deploy like that. I think in general, spare artillery unit. And that's nearly everyone, my general. How it says drop quick climb. So focus on hitting the advancing infantry. Um, assume that they're going to make well, this is going to be a breach. Looks like that is definitely the one they're after. Yeah, it is. It looks like not many men are actually going to try and focus on the existing breach. I need to keep these men here so that they do keep focusing on this stretch of line. Some men are going to try and go for the breach. Just keep firing shrapnel. Yeah, it explodes too quick. Some militia charging in. Maybe you might focus fire on that section of the wall there. This poor light infantry is taking a hammer in. A good chunk of the mercenaries knocked out. Garrison guards are a bit dodgier, although it looks like they're gonna they might go all the way around. Okay, now it looks like some of them have changed their mind and they are gonna go for the They're gonna go for the breach. I mean I don't understand why these guys Oh Right, okay, you guys need to get out of dodge. Oh yes, please cavalry. Come on Republican Russia. You think you got what it takes? Surprise! Spiky bits of wood. Some of them might get around it. But enough of them won't. There we go. These fusiliers are absolutely annihilating infantry, but then again, that's what fusiliers do. So compare uh, one experience, one fusiliers. So what? Accuracy 58, reloading 54 against level 2 infantry. They are just excellent troops in the gunfight. So you now we've abandoned this section of the wall. They're starting to aim at this one. Which means these guardsmen must abandon the wall. As must you. Because the only way across is across this section here, which has no health. Oh, some more cavalry. 
In you come. Yeah, some of them might make it around. I do find this effect funny. There we go. Quickly run past this section of the wall. We're going to lose a handful of men. If we don't hurry. Body, General's bodyguards wandering around. So let's get these men off the walls. That artillery unit might not be long for this world. Fortunately, they're aiming at the infantry, so they are firing by rank into the cavalry. I don't really intend for these men to run off the wall, but whatever. It's the line infantry. Yeah, they've not got much strength to them. Let's do a bit of a switch. Let's get my fusiliers inside the armory. Get my get this line infantry over here. A bit dodgy, but okay. So looks like reinforcements coming in from over here somewhere. I mean, look at all that artillery. Get my cavalry outside. I need to send some cavalry to go deal with these guys. So what have we got back here? Dragoons, general, and a whole gun line. Most of them aren't even firing because there's no one. What they want to shoot at, they can't. Except for the howitzers. Yeah, they're going after my cavalry. Lots of cavalry. bring my cavalry around onto the right flank. Good, they're going to charge inside. Cavalry run right and then curve in, start to try and hit some of this artillery. In you come, lads. Nice. Can you guys drop into square? Okay, switch to round shot, engage that general's bodyguard. Fire my cavalry in. They have a lot of cavalry, they've got more than me. But I need to get in there while they're... I need to do something about their artillery, otherwise they'll just sit outside and just shoot at me. You go stop shooting, just shooting into the backs of your men.
So my Household Cavalry intercept one of their units of cavalry. That gives my Regiment of Horse a bit more freedom to get around and do things. Okay, if they're going to run away, charge the next unit. Okay, then charge on. Charge on into the 34th. There we go. Keep knocking out their artillery. To be honest, we've got into a great big cavalry mess out here. There's another great big cavalry mess about to emerge inside. Got some more howitzers over there. Okay, broken, broken, try break that one. Actually, let's try avoid combat. Okay, so let's turn. These guys fire it well off. Let's run my cavalry in. No, don't fight. Get inside. Don't... Why did you... S Come on, keep running. I want to try and coax their cavalry in to the... Uh, into the... into the fort. Because my cavalry defences don't hurt me. My men just lollop over them. But their cavalry... They find it positively ghastly. So you men fire into the breach. It's a shame about the household cavalry, but meh. My howitzers begin to engage the reinforcements. You guys can now fire. Yes! What a wonderful day! So, we've now got this reinforcing army to worry about. But again, you... This guy focus on just quick climbing the breach, actually. Do as much damage as we'd like with that with the the chip with the canister shot, but it's chiefly because we've got so much stuff in the way.
Militia, militia, line infantry, line infantry, line infantry, dragoons, howitzers, hussars. Ooh, come along, general. Don't you fancy a shot? They keep thinking they do. For you guys back here, actually, focus on that regiment of expat infantry because they're sat there idle in an excellent position for quicklime. Oh, come on, they always fancy it. There we go. general here has actually been killed already so it's not I think it's not something to really worry about yeah, you men focus on the 109th you men focus on the 124th fire Good hit could be devastating. One good hit, which we got. That's half of them. Militia going to probe another entrance. Good hit. Here comes the militia. Decided they don't fancy it. You men form line. Make sure guard mode's on. charge the militia just to try and break this particular unit let's get my regiment of horse a bit closer up further up the front let's get my general up here as well let's pivot these men to be ready to form a new line Charge in. Charge should be careful with the with the Russians. Because they're not actually terrible units. Okay, let's get these guys in here to join the fusiliers to fight the the line infantry. Fusiliers are firing down into the militia combat. So these men form up. Bring more men over to support this combat just in case. Get my regiment of horse around to hopefully go around here and hit some of these Russians in the rear. guards in there. Hit them with cavalry. Let's 
there we go. Hundred twenty fourth from tree years. So they're upset, but they're not. They've got a good chance because Russians versus Fusiliers is well. You definitely say that's the Fusiliers' uh, time to shine. No, the, the Russians' time to shine. Sorry. Charge those men in, get my militia up as reserve. Yeah, that's the one of the infantry units from the uh, fighting inside. So let's get another unit of infantry in there to try to fight the Russians. My cavalry are upset. Get my guardsmen involved. Let's get my fusiliers off the wall. Well, actually, my guardsmen might need to stay here. They're bringing in enemy cavalry, which we will hold off quite well as long as we. There we go, we forced the Russians back. Some good quick climb to the rear, but we want my. Where's my general? There he is. Okay, continue to charge down this unit of Russian, the 29th Regiment. While we have our advantage. Bring the cuirassiers back and you know, charge on my fusiliers in, which isn't a good idea, but whatever. Actually, I'm definitely not going to do that. Not when I've got a unit here that can do that. Because there is a unit here that's got 350 odd guys in it. Oh, the Dragoons are shaken, but they're probably losing men on this defence here. Bring everyone back. Let's see who we've got first. who's back there because that could be a very easy way to lose a lot of men is to keep running into the breach so if bring everyone back set up two units like so to fire at will If they want to come in and fight us, they can. You try... Actually, don't try hit anyone with quick climb. Those dragoons are shattered, so my general is going to be who... takes out those gunners. Getting my howitzers to focus on general's bodyguard. There we go. Now the infantry can push in if they like, but we are at least firing upon them. The general go take out their howitzer. The howitzer's focus on that unit, last unit of line infantry. God, this has been a bit of a bloody fight. So the general tries to stop our general, we at least outnumber them. 
quite know how the hell you got out there. Did you climb down ropes or something? So you go up there, knock out these two units of guns. Focus the artillery on the general again. Actually focus on the line because they're, they're not on their way in. It's a human charge. There we go. So that's the artillery dealt with. General's not too happy about that development. There we go. Keep picking off the crewmen. They're not actually going to come in and help. They're just going to stand nearby. It's helping though. They've only got two men left and that artillery unit refuses to rout. There we go. Hit the general. first and now pushing in and they're shattered so now it's all on to my general who has killed who's routed their general well that wasn't a good good battle was it <laughs> that was a bit of a slog but there we go we managed to win Grigori Ek has been pushed back that's right back you go Okay, good. I really didn't want them to attack the city again. They couldn't take another hit. Ooh, that's the, they are massing for an attack on Moscow. Okay, the Moscow garrison needs to uh, needs to rebuild pronto. And if possible, recruit more men. It's a lot of troops around the capital, and my army isn't even replenished. Oh, Genoa has marched out to hit us. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of most of the Genoese forces um, on Corsica. Cheers, everyone.